Today is day two of my surgery. Uh, so after surgery. So today, um, I couldn't sleep yesterday well due to pain and I couldn't turn or toss. So I was miserable. I couldn't sleep at all. I think hardly slept by three or four o'clock in the morning. And 7 a.m. I was so exhausted and uh, I went to bathroom then I actually tried to sleep again and 7 a.m. to 11 o'clock I slept again so so I was I woke up at 11 30 today so I skipped my morning dose of Percocets uh, since I was severely constipated I couldn't go to the bathroom um, so I thought of weaning off the Percocet today so morning I didn't take any dose of Percocet. So by 12.30, 1 o'clock I had some lunch or brunch. So just had a sardine and a kimchi which helped in my gut. And I thought it also helps in my bowel movement too. And also I had a cup of coffee. And a couple of times I woke up um, with help and walked in the room and tried to go to the bathroom again. Didn't, nothing happened. So in the evening, I took a diclofenac, 50 milligram, and uh, I, try, I took two magnesium, hoping that helps to sleep and help to go to the bathroom so this is a day two I'm tired uh, I feel exhausted and there's pain I am able to move better but I have spasm in the back where the wound is so I am very careful when I walk I tried to stand for maybe 10 minutes and walked around for 10 minutes it helped um, moving my muscles and everything, but uh, I had to come to bed, back in bed, because pain was there. So, hope I'll sleep today. I took two magnesium, and I wanted to take ashwagandha too, but I thought I'll see how magnesium works. So, we'll see tomorrow. Day three journal. Today was a day which I tried to reduce uh, my pain by taking less medication, uh, more of like a moving. So today, uh, sleep is still disturbed. I couldn't uh, do much of a, um, justification to sleep. So um, maybe the way I sleep is different. I am a slight side sleeper, that's the reason why. So I tried to turn and uh, sleep a little bit, but it was painful, so I went back to um, back mode. And uh, that was painful for me to lie down for a longer time too. So uh, today was a fairly okay day. Um, I was sleeping uh, during the daytime and then uh, took a nap like uh, between uh, 9 and 11.30 and then woke up, had lunch. Um, I was uh, totally uh, depending on diclofenac, so I had, took a diclofenac, took two magnesium and uh, ashwagandha today. Uh, that is all I took today. Um, completely weaned off uh, Percocet because of how I was feeling constipated. Uh, um, only thing I was uh, discomfort was like uh, um, I was while moving, I, I could feel it. Um, how my body is kind of, you know, um, spasming in the back area. Uh, so that is the only thing which I was uh, worried. Um, by around 2, 2.30, I took a shower, um, a standing shower. So my daughter helped me in uh, just uh, rubbing the area where I had glue since I was itching a lot after, uh, you know, I think three days I didn't shower. Uh, so that was uh, one thing which helped me. I think it helped me to cool down my whole body. Um, so that was a, a refreshing experience afternoon uh, that I could take a shower and then I went to bed. So I could get up today by myself using the rails uh, and using the log roll method. I had taken a shower, 
so standing was also okay uh, in terms of like tingling and uh, the discomfort is uh, like a slight a bit uh, if you lie in the side uh, of side of right side or left side you can feel the pressures on the spine and the nerve so you could feel the tingling sensation so i avoided sleeping on the uh, side um, i think today was an average day with the uh, maybe pain scale of around seven to eight uh, and after taking diclofenac it went down to almost uh, six uh, that is what my pain scale today um, only thing is like i have to get in regular with sleep so i think that will also heal in the process and i i think i tried to went go to bed early but i couldn't sleep well um, so i kept on watching tvs and movies and other things so this is day three